On this episode of Game Shack, Black Friday has come and gone, and it is now Cyber Monday. I'm going to tell you guys all of the latest up-to-date deals that there are. I'm going to give you predictions on what's going to happen in terms of deals going forward to the rest of the year. And At Games has released a Star Trek skin that has some people a little bit up in arms. All that and more coming up next. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome on back into the Game Shack. I am your host, JDV, for Evil Genius Entertainment. I caught COVID over Thanksgiving, so if I'm even more nasally sounding than normal, sorry about that. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Mine was decent, uh, considering everything that was going on in my house. Uh, as I predicted, however, we did not see any kind of killer great sale happening on Black Friday. In fact, any of the best sales are basically still going on this Cyber Monday. I'm going to get to that in one second. But suffice it to say, we didn't see any kind of deal like The Simpsons going for $150 or uh, you know, Time Crisis dropping down to $200 or anything like that. We just did not see any kind of sale like that. Closest thing we had a sale uh, kind of like that was at Lowell's. They had the Asteroids Tempest cab and the Frogger cab on sale for $1.99, but that was gone within an hour or two, and I don't even think that lasted to Black Friday. In terms of the sales we saw, we did not see anything magnificent, uh, and that is what I predicted. And the reason I predicted that is that Arcade 1UP became very, very aware of the fact that we became very aware of these fireside sales, and I think they put the word out that no, 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 we, we cannot see this happen again because A, it's just a bad look in general, and two, our core market will simply wait a year to see if this sale happens again. These sales are kind of in indicate that, yeah, that's really how it should be right from the get-go, and it isn't. All right, so right now, let me catch you guys up on the latest prices. So it's 4.30 right now, Cyber Monday, as I record this. I do think all of these prices are going to be good up until midnight, probably 2 or 3 a.m. this morning. After that, you're going to see them jump right back up across the board. A lot of the things that were on sale Black Friday have jumped back up to MSRP or even higher. All right, without further ado, let's just jump right into the sales that are still going on as of Cyber Monday. I do think that all of these sales are going to be good unless they run out of stock, which is going to be a possibility. Other than that, though, I would expect these sales to go all the way through tonight and maybe into tomorrow morning. But if you want these things, probably you ought to want to jump. Okay, right off the bat, the Peasant Cades are still on sale at Walmart for what is a pretty good dang deal. $249 for Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man, or Mortal Kombat. Heck, you could get two of those 500 bucks, and you got, you know, you're talking about 28 titles right there in great looking cabs. You put a little black riser underneath those to your height, and bam, you are cooking with oil. Even better deal, realistically, is the Big Buck Hunter Peasant Cade at $299. That is a pretty uh, smashing deal. I have that in my cart. I just bought a pretty expensive guitar on Black Friday, so I'm not quite sure if I'm going to pick that one up or not. But maybe if I can sell my pinball game, I'm definitely going to. Anyway, it's $2.99 for the Peasant Cade at Walmart. There are two other sales of note still going on at Walmart, and that is Time Crisis at $6.65, which I'm pretty sure is the cheapest that we've seen it. Same price that they had it on Black Friday, so that's gone through the whole weekend. That's an okay price for Time Crisis. Again, 17-inch screen. Not ideal. And we also have Big Blue with a chair. It's $3.99 if you scroll down to the second page. $3.99 Big Blue with a chair. That's actually a pretty good price. I'm, I would think if I had better internet and had any capacity to play people online, I would really think strongly about it. Anyway, that is by far the best price I've seen on Big Blue, at least in the last six months, a great deal. All right, so let's check out Wayfair right now. They have Star Wars. Again, this is being the best price I saw on Star Wars uh, since it came up. It's still at 562.23 at Wayfair. That is an okay price for that. I think if it were another 50 bucks down, I would jump on it, but uh, it, it's not a horrible price and best price you're gonna find right now. Uh, the Jobs cabinet, which I think is a really slick skin of that MK cab, is $396.51. This best deal I've seen on that in a long time, if you like that skin. The NBA Jam Countercade is there for $99. Now, that is going to be in a lot of places right now for $99. So if you were able to hold off and um, wait till today, you're going to be getting your best price on that NBA Jam. I'm going to talk a little bit about Kohl's in a second. We'll get to that. Uh, Dragon's Area is $4.99 there. Not a great price again. So Wayfair, really, realistically, you're not getting anything too special. But if you dig that gel skin or Star Wars, check out Wayfair. Uh, Target, let's uh, check them out. No real big deal. The best deal they have on a three-quarter size cab is $3.49 for the uh, 
Street Fighter Turbo. That again is a deal that you're gonna be able to get at several other locations, so nothing that special there. NBA Jam is 99 bucks there. And Marvel cabinet head-to-head -head is still $2.99 there. That's the price we've seen all through Black Friday. Uh, the Probably the most cab that people actually have the most interest in in uh, Target right now is that uh, Marvel cab that they, uh, the Concade, that is out of stock. Supposedly that's still $99, but of course that sale would probably end today. They won't have it in stock by the end of the day likely. So really not a whole lot to look at in terms of Target. Okay, Kohl's aforementioned, they do have the NBA Jam for $99, which means you're gonna be getting some Kohl's cash back if you bought it there. So the best deal on that Jam Cade is still over at Kohl's. Uh, they also have the uh, Marvel head-to-head -head, uh, cabinet for $2.99. So again, price that we've seen. Otherwise, that Kohl's kind of disappointing this year, not a whole lot of action there. Best Buy has Street Fighter Turbo again for $249.99. Has Fast and the Furious for $224.99. That is the best deal I've seen on Fast and the Furious. Again, I wish it was another 50 bucks off and that'd be a cab I'd be very interested in. Again, a little pricey, but again, if you wanted that cab, that is the best price you're gonna get. And Pac-Mania is down to $2.99 over at Best Buy as well. That is a pretty decent price for that. I actually like my Pac-Mania cab quite a bit. I bought it for 200 used. So if you can get it into a brand new for 300, that's not a bad deal. You get a, a Joe Sable marquee on there and it's really not bad. And if Pac-Man is the game that you're really interested in, Pac-Man actually looks good on there. Whereas the Pac-Mania, the title cab looks like absolute trash on that cab. Anyway, those are the deals up to the moment as of right now on Cyber Monday. So in terms of my predictions for pricing between now and the end of the year, beginning of January, I think you will see price drops on various cabs here and there, but of course we're not gonna see it all at once across the board the way we did this Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Not a huge amount of sales. It's gonna be very interesting to me if we do see price drops, because if we continue to see price drops, it means that the Black Friday sales did not move enough of these things off of the shelf. I definitely think that $249 is a price to be looking at. If you're looking at a peasant cade, $399, you should just go get that cab if you want that big buck on it, because that's a pretty good deal. The thing that really kind of interested me about this whole thing is that we did not see any new cabs really drop a whole lot of price. Fast and Furious, yes, a, a little bit. Saw a little bit of reduction in terms of time crisis. Uh, but the Casino K, the K that I thought was actually gonna drop the most in price stayed rock solid at its introductory price, which is kind of weird. We have seen no movement at all on Tron, none at all, and only a little bit of movement on Star Wars. Those, those are the games that I'm kind of interested in, kind of off the beaten path, different kind of controller interface. Uh, something kind of unique type cab. Those really did not drop in price at all or very little. And those were the cabs I had kind of pinned my hopes on this Black Friday. So a little bit of a disappointment for me anyway in terms of what was available for me fleshing out my arcade. And of course, the other big news that broke a couple of days ago was the fact that At Games has announced their 4K pinball game in the Star Trek skin. And to me, that's pretty cool because my wife loves that game. It's a great real world game. And it'll be very interesting to me to see uh, how Zen deals with that game because VPX has a couple of good versions of it, but you know nothing that's quite directly on the money. So I'm hoping that Zen has a really ki killer version of it. And what's really cool about it, besides the fact that you're getting uh, you know, that form factor and the skin and the 4K and all that is you get actually three Star Trek virtual games. And that makes it a lot different than the Adams Family, which only has a one branded game and I don't really care about Dino Dynasty or Snoopy. So really, it's nice to see three times the amount of games that are, you know, on point. I do suspect that Next Generation is gonna be coming at some point. You know, maybe it would have done Ad Games better just to announce all of this stuff at their National Owners Day in February, but who knows? I know a lot of you guys bought that Adams Family cab. It's still a really good looking cab, and I think the Star Trek cab is a really good looking cab too. I just don't know if you guys want it as much as you want Next Generation or something like Indiana Jones or something. All right, well, I hope that you had a good Thanksgiving. I hope that you found some kind of toy to fill out your man cave, your home arcade, or whatever like that. Right now, the closest thing that I personally have found that I'm willing to maybe jump on is that big Buck Hunter at $2.99 because I do think that that is a decent deal. I have that 20 inch Dell that is just screaming to be put into a, a non-multi-K type cab, so, 
I don't know. I, I might do that. Anyway, if you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up on the way out the door. Love each other. And until next time, I will see you guys in the Game Shack. Mwah! Be sure to visit EvilGeniusEntertainment.com for exclusive content, swag, casting call news, and much, much more.